Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. We are back in my wonderfully decorated house and we are going to be doing some more random Dream Island tours today. I'm very excited. I've really been enjoying the last couple of Dream Island tour videos that I've been putting out because just seeing all of these super unique and beautifully decorated islands is just so inspiring and I'm about to redo my entire house. I know it looks perfect right now, but we're just going to, you know, give a little spice and I am definitely in need of that inspiration. So be on the lookout for the house makeover video coming very soon to a theater near you but without further ado let's go ahead and hop right into some dreams so like i said we're doing random dreams i just like to be surprised you know i just want this game to throw the most random stuff at me and for me to look at it okay so our first dream is kalua i think that's how you say it okay i think it's actually kalula i don't know how to pronounce anything what are words what are words? Let's go ahead and take a look at the map first and see what we're working with. Ooh, what a pretty map. And look at these pretty villagers. What a bunch of cuties. Okay, I'm kind of getting like a little bit of like foresty cottagecore vibes here. Oh my goodness. <gasps> look at how cute. A little movie night setup. Wait, I want to sit. I want to watch the movie. This is literally so precious okay what are we watching are we watching the angry birds movie again am i gonna cry again i like how they use the little glowing weeds everywhere too that just gives it such a nice little like magical flourish and then moving on we've got someone's house we have Poppy's house, really cute. Definitely like getting the cottage core vibes. Oh, and look at these cute little stepping stones across the water, I love it, hey. Hey, okay, bye. Oh, somebody else's house is over here. This is so cute with like all the waterscaping. Everybody has like their own little yard, super adorable. There's someone else's house up there. We've got a bridge, okay. So it looks like this is like a little cafe, a little coffee shop, which is so adorable. I love this centerpiece in the middle right here where you like have the little flowers and the tree oh my goodness that is so precious we have another bridge going across and i love me a good bridge look at this i think this is so pretty this is so gorgeous the little lily of the valley in the back blowing in the wind it's just pure vibes right now and i'm here for it <laughs> so then we walk down and we have like this section which is like a little gardens section. But I love this little gazebo setup with the swinging bench and the lights behind it and then the gazebo. The layering, the layering. And then they have like a little tea party set up over here. I love that little section. We also have a little pumpkin patch over here. Wait, I want to get to that. Okay, yes, pumpkin patch. And they have like cider over here, I'm assuming. They've got the little tea kettle, super cute. Okay, now I'm going to go up this bridge that's back here because I'm curious. And we have this cute little section. Oh my goodness, I love all of these little areas. They are just so perfect okay now we're gonna go across this bridge and look at this oh my goodness look at this freaking like fairy circle with the gyroids with all the custom designs everywhere with the soot sprites incredible 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 my breath officially has been taken away if anybody finds it please let me know now going to the right we have this path which i really like all of these cute little custom designs and we can go up top and we have a beautiful view with all of these flowers and all of like the little uh, stargazing things. That is super cute. Oh wait, is this a moon-shaped pond? Hold on. Hold on. My little marker is covering it. But I, I think it is a little moon-shaped pond, which is just simply adorable. I absolutely love that. Okay, now I want to take a look inside the player house. I'm very curious as to what's in here. Ooh, look at this. It's very like foresty, magical kind of vibe. You know what? It definitely has Studio Ghibli vibes and that's very present in some of these custom designs that they have and I just love it. Look at this sweet little desk with like the little potion bottles, the beehive. Look at this bathroom. I didn't even recognize that it was a bathroom at first because it's just that good. This is exactly the inspo that I need for my rooms that I'm gonna have to make because I hate interior designing. And the little jellyfish right here is so cute and it has like bubbles that's coming out of it. Oh no, the gyroid. Wait, this gyroid blows bubbles? Is it this one specifically? What? Is that like a polishing thing? But I love this regardless. Um, I love that there's a record player in here. Like you definitely need the perfect music vibes for whenever you're using the bathroom. Like it's essential. Okay, now we have the sweetest little kitchen. I absolutely love this. I don't know why the vibes in every single room are just perfect and immaculate. Like I love it. It's not even the most complex 
like rooms you know there's not anything crazy going on here but like just the sweet little touches are just so good oh now this is a room this is such a beautiful little like greenhouse room I love this with like the vines everywhere, the plants on the wall, the gyroids everywhere. And then we just have card playing in the middle. Stunning, stunning, beautiful, gorgeous. Now upstairs, we've got just the most beautiful, quaint little library room. The vibes, once again, everywhere are immaculate. I love that there's a disco ball up top. That's amazing. I just love all the little touches. Like everything just feels so intentional and just so nicely put together. Oh my goodness. Again with the vibes. This is like an amazing little den. We've got like the little bar back here and we've got the confetti. We've got all sorts of like lounging space, pool table, bubble machine, lights galore, darts, everything. And look at everything that's going on on the ceiling. There is so much to look at in here. And I love that the lights are off for a couple of these rooms and we just have like the ambient lighting of like the lamps and everything. It's just okay. Well, that was an absolutely wonderful house. Again, definitely that inspo that I need for my interior designing, although I don't think I can get mine to look as good as theirs but let's check out the last couple of things we missed I definitely spotted a little graveyard up here and I love this little like mini waterscaping little thing around this fountain that's just such a little unique element I, I, I love it and then I'm gonna keep following the path oh I love this random gyroid on this random mushroom up here amazing I love him and then it looks like we have the campsite which is super cute. I love a good campsite. And we've got like a little picnic area, a little like furnace, a little moon for your campsite. Perfect, perfect. We've got like a nice overgrown path to walk down. And we have like a magic school. Oh my goodness, or potion class. This is amazing. Okay, I'm definitely getting more of like that mystical vibe from this island. I love it. I'm sorry that I called it cottage core in the beginning. It's definitely not as cottage core as I thought. Look at this view look at it beautiful okay so we have made our way down to nooks which is super cute i love this little path right here like this little chunk that just wraps around this bush i don't know why but that's just like so <laughs> so amazing to me i'm just so in love with it for some reason look at this look at this i love the little island with the little waterfall in the back and like the little signs and the tree it's just so like simple but like so good and then we're here at the museum which is also gorgeous and stunning with this waterfall on the side like the vibes are just <laughs> immaculate i don't know how many times i'm gonna say that for this island but i'm sorry if the vibes are immaculate the vibes are immaculate and i must state it because it is fact it is law look at this cute little peninsula that they have stargazing peninsula are you kidding me? With cookies? So I think I saw the majority of everything, but this has been Kalula. What a beautiful island. What a beautiful house. This is like the most gorgeous, like foresty, magical, cottagey, Studio Ghibli kind of island. This was so gorgeous. So thank you so much for having us. Dream address is there at the bottom if you want to visit yourself, but I'm going to say farewell for now and we'll be on to our next dream island. On to our next surprise dream island. I'm very excited. I'm ready. Luna, I am ready. I've never been more ready in my life after that first island. We're good to go. Our next stream island is Marimar. Let's see what we've got. I see a wheat field in the back. Ooh, okay. I like this little path right here. Very cute. Looks like we have a little bakery right here. Adorable. Love the little pineapple umbrella. And I love this custom design like on the cobblestone path everywhere. It's like this little border with these cute little roses. <gasps> Look at this butterfly. Wait a second. That's so cute. Oh, wait, the map. Map, the map besties we cannot forget about the map of course the map is stunning gorgeous amazing and we've got some interesting villager choices as well i haven't really seen roswell on that many islands here we are at nooks and we have like a little cafe section with a gyroid attendant very cute we're down at the museum we've got some museum-y things very cute i love how the museum is like very subtle definitely definitely after my own heart oh and look at this waterscaping oh i love like this little island thing this is so cute i love it i love all of the little islands and the waterfalls and everything like that and look more butterfly custom designs these are so cute so here's our entrance and they put a little lily up the valley right at the entrance 
love it love it we have some nice terraforming over here and then we've got like a little another little cafe very cute i love that this picture of murphy is being served up on a platter delicious i am definitely going up this incline whoa look at all of this okay first of all the gyroids on the pillars amazing this custom design incredible look at this little section like they're brewing potions over here it's very magical and look at all this back here there's so much to look at oh whose yard is this if this isn't murphy's yard it is murphy's yard okay good i was gonna say with all of the green murphy deserves this yard you know okay i'm gonna go through this archway we've got a nice path nice use of the volcano nice nice we have another villager house this seems like a little mini neighborhood we also have oh my goodness a little farm farm yes you know me i love the farm so i'm glad that a villager is getting their own farm you know very very well deserved we also have a little playground so cute i love that there's gyroids playing as we speak hey little guy and then over here i like this little this little building very cute very whimsical again this island is also kind of giving me that little bit of a witchy vibe which i very much enjoy we've got another little path just following that a cute little picnic area and look at this adorable little wishing well oh my goodness with the little karopi lanterns and these bug models like uh, okay everything is so precious and, and beautiful and look at these little stepping stones with lilies of the valleys honestly stunning hey i like your island <laughs> make a wish i wish for my island to look half as good as yours oh my goodness would you look at that would you look at that stunning incredible immaculate breathtaking okay we are back behind resident services and look at all of this we we missed some houses so We've got a little like sheep in the little fields over here. This is so cute. And there's another house over here with this stunning gazebo. And I love that custom design behind it. Very smart, very genius. Oh, and we have like a little rainbow garden over here with this centerpiece. Ugh, it's so good. We also have Abel's. And if we go past Abel's, look at this. This is so cute. Whatever's going on. Wand shop. Wand shop. I love it. Okay, this was such a cute island. I really liked this one. So many cute villager yards and so many cute like custom designs that I really, really liked. So again, if you want to see this island, the dream address is there at the bottom. Also, really great terraforming. If I didn't say that already, which I probably did. But thank you so much for having us. Now let's move on to the next dream island. We are on our final island for today. And I'm very excited because cherry blossoms i love the little street pattern i always love when islands have like this road because i feel like that's so impressive like i could never handle so many like custom design patterns and have this whole path and everything so i dig it i dig it we've got a little house here and they've even got like a little car parked in their little driveway very cute oh look at this we've got like a long road here oh wait let me look at the map i always forget oh okay things are very angular here definitely makes sense for like a city type of island and we even have a frog in the villager list to go to henry so i approve i approve but it looks like we have the villager houses here and oh we've got like a little building this is cool they're kind of like secluded they've got their own little section their own little yards and everything even the player house is shoved in here Ooh, look they've made like a little city perspective thing <gasps> yes i love it i love it i'm taking a screenshot i love it and then i'll look at this little path i don't know why i just love this all right it looks like we're walking back through the city oh this is so cool how do they do this see this is so big brain i don't even know how to accomplish this they made like a whole city look at this they even made it so it's like um like in new york city when they have like all the screens on the buildings whatever it's called i don't know the billboards and everything that is so cool oh that's so smart is this even the same game besties is this even the same game some some people are on a whole other level and i just love to see it we got nooks we got nooks and we've got some more villager houses over here okay oh cute little ramen shop don't mind if i do 
and it looks like this right side is still kind of a work in progress but honestly i know it's gonna be good but let's go back to the player house and let's see if there's anything inside i'm very curious oh yes oh yes this is what i live for oh absolutely yes okay first of all they're doing some magic here with these like walls and pillars and everything and i i love it i'm here for it and this accent wall the mushrooms everything Ugh. and then we have our kitchen stunning cute love the use of the ranch furniture and that sunflower wall is so cute i i absolutely love it and i love like the clutter of like the cans on the top and using the store shelf is actually so smart i don't know why i've never thought of that and then we have like a little back patio area we've got this adorable little piano and we've got like the little fence and like the wheat fields and everything. Oh, I love patios. I love when people make patios. We have an adorable little office basement and I love what they're doing with these accent walls. Instead of having the entire wall be the accent wall, they're also using like the wall item so that only a portion has the wallpaper. And that is so big brain, so big brain. It's so smart. I just love like all the little office clutter. This looks so like homey and realistic. And they even have like a little work table with like little craft stuff and supplies. Like this is so good. Again, this is the inspo that I desperately need for my own house. And lastly, we have the bedroom. So we have the bedroom side of it, which is an adorable little homey section. We've got all kinds of cute stuff back here. Little couch, little ukulele, little record player, even the switch next to the TV. Perfect. And then over here, we have the gaming corner. Yes. I love it. I love it. I relate, you know, having a little gaming corner. We've even got the little plushy wall and the boba and the Sanrio posters. It's so, it's so on point. So I think that is about it for this island. Um, Once again, here is the dream address for you if you want to go check it out. I really enjoyed this one. I thought this was so cute and the house of course was incredible, incredible. So yeah, I think that is it for all of our dream islands today. I feel like we had some really good ones. So thank you so much for joining me. If you liked it, don't forget to like this video and subscribe on your way out. I would very much appreciate it. Thank you so much again for watching and I will see you in the next one.